All right. So it's Saturday. We're out here at the shaft. We're gonna try to get the generator going. It's like 14 above today, but it was not 14 above last night. It was probably down below zero. So we're gonna use the diesel-fired heater to warm up the generator. And it seems we got a parasitic draw on our battery side of our generator. Not sure what's causing it. It's not something we really want to troubleshoot out here in the middle of winter, so I don't know. We're gonna take a reading of the resting voltage of the battery just to see what it's at, and that'll confirm if there's actually a draw. We might have to install a disconnect switch or something like that. It's always something. So let's get this uh, heater going. That's the air intake side. We want it to bring warm air back in and send it back out. Reheated again. Try to get it in the vicinity of the oil. Start it up. See what our battery resting voltage is while we wait for that to start up. Okay. 12.75. So we got lots of battery. So we do not have a parasitic draw. So maybe the switch for the starter relay is just weak. Maybe we can troubleshoot it. But we'll let it warm up anyway. It'll help it out, get it starting going. A little easier. The modern day conveniences, anywhere you want them in the world. Thank you, Elon Musk. It makes it so easy. No, we don't plug the Starlink into the generator. Generators are notorious for dirty power. The Starlink runs off the Jackery, which is going to give you a much better, cleaner sine wave. Less likely to damage the expensive and all-important Starlink. All right, guys, we've had a little bit of action down the hole since we've been gone. Water level definitely came up quite a bit. Most of the bottoms filled. But uh, hopefully it's frozen enough to where it won't come spilling back in. Not frozen. <laughs> Not frozen. Oh man. Oh boy. Great. Well, that's gonna be interesting. <sighs> Dang. How so unfortunate. It'll be easy digging, and it'll also be impossible digging at the same time. Alright, so, we got water in our hole, and we're going to try to bail it out. We're going to see if we bail it out, will the water stay at bay long enough for us to dig without a pump. So we've got a little baler that we built out of an old can, and we're going to try to dig a sump in the corner of the shaft, and we're going to try to bail it dry. We're gonna see how long does it take for that little sump to refill with water. And if it'll stay dry long enough, we might be able to keep digging without a pump. But if it fills back up, then we will have to have a pump running constantly while we're down in the hole. And I think that's what it's gonna turn into, but we'll see. We'll give this a try. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, send out a clean bucket. Little shovel. This little? Yep. Oh, 
The hand pick, maybe. Ready to drop? Yeah. First question, how thick is this ice? About an inch, maybe two. Got another dead shrew. It's frozen to the ice, that's gross. Filling back in, but it's not very fast. Yeah, might be possible. I mean, it won't take nothing to pull all this material that's frozen out. So why don't we do that? Can we get the jackhammer? Yeah. interesting. Alright guys, so we deliberated and we decided that we're going to start pumping the hole out and keep going. Probably should have taken it as a sign to stop, but I think we're kind of stubborn. The funny thing is, uh, the, the water is coming up out of the ground like a half a degree above, above freezing. And then as soon as it hits the air, it's freezing. But it's not freezing down at all. Yeah. It's like the water has this thermal mass in it and it is keeping the bottom of the shaft from freezing. So we're gonna have to dig a sump. We're gonna have to maintain that sump. We're gonna have to pump constantly while we work. It's gonna get a lot harder to dig and thawed stuff. The frozen is easy, because you can just pick it up and throw it in a bucket. But we're gonna have to literally shovel sticky wet material the whole way down. It's not gonna be good. Uh, we're also gonna probably have to start cribbing it. 
Um, if we start getting into the thawed stuff and the thawed stuff doesn't freeze, we're going to have to shore it up somehow and that's going to get really expensive and slow things down. We don't have that much time, so we'll do what we can. We'll try it. We'll see if it's feasible. We want to keep going, but man, we got a long way to go. Long, long way to go. Yep. So let's get to pumping. Lower it on down. water had to heat up the hose inside for a while there is a chunk of ice in there but it's working now so so let's flip this in over the edge so that this water doesn't go back in our hand. you can just leave that coil right there yeah Okay. Yeah, do it. No. All right, we're down the hole. The little pump is doing its best. Look at how fast that water is coming in. Try to dig another sump deeper, hopefully. Just try to chase it down. guys it's getting laid out here we're gonna call it a night but before we leave we're gonna take a pan from the deep side here in the water pumps not really keeping up anymore uh, gonna have to upgrade so I'm just gonna grab a pan and see if we get anything you want to take a measurement now yeah It's the end of the day. We're really struggling with the water. Our hose is a little bit restrictive. There might be some improvements we can make there, but I really think the more square footage we expose, uh, the more impossible it's going to be to keep the water out. Uh, we got a sample from the corner. We're going to do a pan. Um, I think this pump is losing ground right now, so we're going to call it a day. So let's see what our measurement is. I would say, let's see it in the glare, 99 inches. Oh, that's an honest 100. Yeah, it's, yeah. Because you're on top of the sump. We'll call it 100. So 100 inches. That's not bad, but that's not the bottom of the shaft. That's just the deepest point. But we'll see what's in this pan from 100 inches. All right, here's our pan, 100 inches, bottom of the hole. Round rocks in here. Some.
Let's give that a swirl. small stuff in here super small one two three four five six I don't know that is absolutely microscopic gold as usual the GoPro is not really gonna capture it but right there there's just a little pinch on the leading edge of that little pile of heavies there. I don't know, you just can't see it. Too much glare. But it's in there. But still not mineable. Not at all, really. This stuff would just get pushed aside if we were going to strip a cut here. I couldn't even guess the dollars per yard of an amount that small we're talking about pennies per cubic yard not dollars that's just not economical when you're talking about heavy equipment it's not even economical with hand labor sure. so <clears throat> I think that was six good morning it's Sunday wood stoves warming up generator is warming up and what do we have in the hole today good news lot more water. Thanks Jeff Williams. Yeah, yeah and we're gonna get wet. Nice. Ooh. So we're gonna warm up the generator. We're gonna throw our one inch pump in there. It's uh, pretty heavily restricted on the hose that we currently have out here. So we're gonna try to pump it but I think we're gonna have to come back out with a different setup to get this water out and uh, I don't know that we can overcome the water. We're gonna try but we'll see. Today wasn't a very productive day. The starter's out on our generator, and uh, we did eventually get caught up with the water, but it's not going very well. I'm really not sure how we're going to proceed from here. All right, folks, since we had to wrap it up early at the shaft, we thought we'd show you a little historical landmark of the area a little trapper cabin built probably 70s or 80s you think somewhere in there and it's just left here abandoned take a little glimpse back into their lives out here and hopefully the roof doesn't collapse but pretty much left everything out here old jeans on the wall. Some old traps. Nice bed. Still usable today. Like two people were staying out here. Doesn't look like it would have been fun. Old matchbook. Yeah, they're still good. Uh, Ooh. Let's see, what does it say? <laughs> it's kind of hard to read. Skin bracer? America's hmm. favorite aftershave? Huh. Look pretty old. Strike one up. Yeah. Probably would. Yep. Little coupons. Famous. Only 25 cents. <sighs> I don't think there's anything that's 25 cents these days. Uh, 
they would cry. These are not strike anywhere, so I don't know what this is going to do. Oh no, no, no. That ain't happening. No. Nope. Little expired. This right pad is no good. All the little stuff. from the guys that were trapping here. Some of this stuff is recycled from a really old cabin that's really close to here. Uh, he was the only person prospecting on this creek and he died in his cabin in like the 1930s. So whoever built this cabin found his stuff and looks like they recycled some of it. Pears. Remember, I was wanting pears. Oh, perfect. Open them up. Do we have a year? <laughs> How is this possible? 100 years old. Ooh, those are Accessory old packet. Hmm. Eat drought or constitute cold water. Oh, I've been craving these. Are you kidding me? Open. If I get food poisoning from this, we're going to do it. Do it. Um, is so we got to get a date. It's fine. I don't know if they have dates on the... Shout out to MRE Steve, he'd be able to tell us. Yeah. Oh! Oh god. Okay, here we are. Ooh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. That looks good. Get a piece. Oh no. <laughs> it's perfect. There ain't nothing wrong with it. Oh. Eat a bite. Alright. What's really funny about this mm. is we knew that there was MREs in this cabin. And last weekend, I was craving MRE peaches or pears. And we debated coming down here to hunt for them when we didn't. And here they were the whole time. Well, if the shaft won't provide, this little cabin will. That's right. Got everything we need. We're probably going to die after eating that. Hmm. It tastes kind of funny. Yeah. I don't feel so good. Mm. Well, there you have it. A little uh, glimpse into the past. I'm not eating it. I'm not eating one. Oh my god. You eat it. Oh, yeah. Can we get a date? Old newspaper print. Looking for a date. That's pretty old. Well. Friday, August 23rd, 1985. Oh, cool. From Fairbanks. Well, so cabins from the eighties. Time in the eighties. Guys are out here trapping. Hmm. Wonder where they went. Someone trapped them. Oh God. <laughs>